In this session, I will explain about lithium ion battery. Lithium is the lightest and highly reactive metal. It has high oxidation potential and good electrical conductivity. Hence, it is a good material for batteries. Due to its lightness and higher cell potential, it provides high energy density and power density to the battery. These lithium batteries are available as primary and secondary batteries. Now let us see the construction of lithium ion battery. This lithium ion battery is a rechargeable battery in which the lithium ions moving between the electrodes. This battery contains a container made up of stainless steel or aluminium alloy. Here, anode is made up of copper foil layers on which graphite is placed and the cathode is made up of aluminium foil layers on which lithium cobalt oxide is placed. And the electrolyte used is lithium chloride dissolved in organic solvent like propylene carbonate and ethylene carbonate. These two electrodes are separated using a separator which is made up of polypropylene. This separator separates the cathode and anode and allows the movement of lithium ions from anode to cathode and cathode to anode. And finally, uh, these two electrons are connected through voltmeter. This is the construction of lithium ion battery. Next, we will see the cell representation of this battery. Here, anode side, graphite on copper foil that is in contact with lithium chloride, that is in contact with lithium cobalt oxide on aluminium foil, that is at the cathode side. Next, we will see the working principle of lithium ion battery. During charging of battery, what happens is, lithium atoms present in the layers of a lithium cobalt oxide are oxidized, which liberating electrons and lithium ions. And the liberated electrons moves to the external circuit and the lithium ions moves into graphite through electrolyte solution. So at cathode, I have written X plus Y lithium ions present in lithium cobalt oxide. That is Li X plus Y COO2. On ionization, what happens is out of X plus Y lithium ions, Y number of lithium ions will move towards anode and combines with this graphite to form C6LIY. We can clearly see. And the liberated electrons move through the external circuit to form electrical energy. So at graphite electrode, what happens is the lithium ions are reduced to lithium atoms and are inserted back into the layers of this graphite. So when all the lithium ions move from cathode to anode, then all are stored in the layers of graphite. That means the battery is fully charged and it is ready to use. This is about recharge reaction of lithium ion battery. Similarly, during discharging of battery, what happens is whatever lithium present in the anode along with graphite in the form of C6LIY will dissociate and move towards cathode through an allied solution. And it will form LIX plus Y COO2. We can clearly observe that here. At the same time, the liberated electrons travel in the external circuit to produce electrical energy. So when all the lithium ions have moved back from anode to cathode, then the battery is fully discharged and needs to charging up again. This is about discharge reaction of lithium ion battery. Next, we will see some of the applications of lithium ion battery. These batteries are mainly used in electronic devices such as laptops, mobile phones, etc. These are also used in aerospace applications and in electric vehicles, which is also used for emergency power backup. 
So overall, we discussed the construction of lithium ion battery. We also discussed the recharge and discharge reactions of lithium ion battery.